Corey speaking. Everyone who signed up to visit with Counselor Jack Foreman today, please line up behind me as we make our way to the Monkey House. Let's move out. Welcome back, me Monkey Knots. It's me, Jack, live for the Monkey House. And on today's show, we're creating some pet ventions. That's right, audience. That's right, pet ventions. Pets. Am I right? We love them. Some of us have them, some of us don't. But I think we can all agree that pets deserve the best that life has to offer. That's why on today's show, we're brainstorming some brand new inventions to make the average pet's life that much dreamier. And let's meet our next Imagineer, which, yes, that is a uh, direct violation of the intellectual property rights of the Disney Corporation. But let's just see if it sticks. All of our listeners for this segment are known as Imagineers, creating inventions exclusively for pets. And I think it's time we met our next one. Well, let's go to Ohio and meet our first pet venter. Okay, you not too. Savannah! Hello? Savannah, are you there? Uh-oh, Savannah, can you hear me? Hello? Oh, there you are. Sorry, Savannah. I think we had a, an Instagram meltdown here in the studio. <laughs> Thanks for being here, buddy. I don't know where the audience is. Savannah, do you have an invention for pets? Yes. Oh, that's great news. Okay. So as you know, this uh, invention needs to somehow tie into a pet, uh, but it can be the one that you use for a pet. It could be one that the pet uses by themselves or maybe one that you two use together. Uh, but first, I got to know, Savannah, do you have any pets in your family? Yes. Yeah. Uh, tell us, uh, who is or who are your pets? I have two dogs, one named Brownie and one named Sapphire. Brownie and Sapphire. Beautiful names. Did they name themselves or did you give them those names? I gave them those names. I guess that makes sense, because if you ask a dog to name him or herself, they're just going to name themselves Ruff or Ruff Ruff. You know, I, they don't really speak English. I mean, as far as I know, maybe they do, and I just don't speak that dialect. All right, Savannah, so uh, am I correct that maybe your inventions might have to do with your two lovable pooches? Yes. Oh, good, okay. Lay down to Savannah. What is your pet vention? I would, they would have a collar that would feed them, give them water, and pick up their own poop. Whoa. Oh, boy. This collar is like one-stop shopping. So, <laughs> wow. I love this. So the collar is loaded with food, and it'll feed them a nutritious meal right there out of the collar. Uh, how does it do that? Are there, like, robot arms that come out to, to feed it right in the mouth? How does that work? Uh, like little arms that come out and then feed it. Go, go, gadget arms. I like that. Just like an Inspector Gadget's raincoat. Okay, so robo arms somehow emerge from this collar and feed it a nutritious and savory meal. Uh, what's uh, what's on tap today? What is the robo collar serving the dogs for dinner tonight, Savannah? Um, roast beef. Roast beef, very nice. Will there be any gravy or side dishes with that roast beef? Gravy and mashed potatoes. Ooh, roast beef smothered in gravy with mashed potatoes on the side. Wow, those dogs are gonna be sitting pretty. Okay, so, uh, and you said that it will also serve them a beverage? Just water or other drinks, too? Um, water. Just water. That's probably smart. I mean, my son Oscar would love a collar that would serve him orange uh, soda all the time. <laughs> you know, like this Fanta collar. He could just press a button and somehow it just pipes Fanta right in his mouth. But dogs, they really shouldn't drink that much soda. Really, water's the thing for them. Okay. And then you said that there's a poop component to this collar, too. What happens when the dog poops? Savannah, walk us through that. Oh, so you can move her arm, and then it comes down with a plastic bag, and it poops it up. Wow, okay. Wow, a lot of robot technology here. A lot of miniaturization, probably. Okay. And uh, what does it then do with that bag of poop that's, that it has collected? Does it just throw it away, or does it somehow convert that into new dog food, Savannah, using some space-age polymer? How does that work? It throws it away. Phew, that's a relief, because it would raise up a whole bunch of ethical questions if somehow it was converting that into new roast beef. I would probably never eat roast beef again if such a technology were possible. <laughs> okay, and oh, one last thing, Savannah, what do you want to call this pet collar that feeds, waters, and cleans up after your dog? Um, 